hello folks so this is 2022 may june paper 1 1 and the question number is 9 uh you can see the letters here they are a bit smaller they're printed letters i had to do some arrangements for this purpose it's question number nine as you can see from the diagram it is concerned with the chapter projectiles uh, which we, which is which belongs to kinematics it says that a projectile is launched at an angle above the horizontal ground so here we have the angle here certain angle this angle is a theta let us say above the horizontal ground and travels through the air through the air the projectile reaches its maximum height at a position x so here the height is max which we often denote by the symbol h and assume that no upthrust acts on the projectile so the upthrust of the ear has been neglected uh, which diagram shows the directions of the force or forces acting on the projectile at point x so we have to show show the directions of the force or forces let's uh, take care of this word force or forces as it has been uh, uh, declared here that it travels through the air so we have to consider the air resistance as well so here one of the forces is the force of gravity in a projectile everywhere the body is there will be a force of gravity somewhat like this so the force of gravity here which will be in downward direction like this downward direction like this so this is the direction of the force downward now it means that we have uh, this thing disqualifies disqualifies because it says to the right it doesn't have any downward force so it has it has and it has but it doesn't have so this disqualifies and the next is since it travels through the air uh, at this time its direction is like this direction is like this so that's why the direction of opposing force should be like this the force of due to air viscose force or drag force whatever we call the direction of the opposing force should be like this at this point so 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 going through the things we have this is the choice so because it says one of the forces is to the left so one is to the ground which is this one the other to this so choice number b should be the correct choice if you look at the other choices here we have one of them is a so in a it says the force experience is to the right which is not possible uh, at this time its direction is like this it is because of the resultant of of the velocity of the velocity here uh, as well as the force here so this it does not qualify and here we have one of the forces like this one like this so this force does not exist here that's why that's why the only this force exists so choice number d is also not correct so the only correct choice is choice number b which is uh, shown in the diagram here